ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Entertaining Entropy. You look fantastic today. I finally decided to release this video on more passive income. This one's really easy. It's on cryptocurrency mining and farming. Stop! I know you're trying to scroll away. You're not really technologically advanced. You don't really know how to use computers. I'm going to make it really easy for you. Today, we're going to walk our way step by step through each and every piece I'm going to download. I'm going to show you every single page. We're going to go through it together. I'm going to be holding your hand. Don't worry. We're using two main applications today. NiceHash is going to be the one that I'll be using for mining. It's a company that's all-encompassing. You can download a miner. You can use it to trade cryptocurrencies on a market. You can use it to spin up cryptocurrency mining on virtual machines or sourcing their cloud network of computers like mine. You can also use another coin for farming cryptocurrencies and that's called Chia Coin. I'm going to make it really easy. I know it sounds complicated. You download a blockchain, you sync to it, you get payouts based on how much hard drive space you've used up. So going through it, I'll be using a bunch of screens. I'll be, I'll be pulling in a bunch of images and things will just become clear to you. So let's start with the mining application, NiceHash. And this one is a really great all-encompassing product with company that is doing not only the miner, but also the trading. And it's really incredibly easy to set up and use, opposed to some of the other miners that I've used where I'm able to really mine other cryptocurrencies. This one specifically isn't mining a cryptocurrency. You're actually giving your resources to a network of whatever people out there at the moment want to mine, and you're just being paid out on your resources and your time that's been invested. So with a lot of integrations with apps like Coinbase, NiceHash has a really easy way to transfer your money throughout its portfolio, making it really cool and easy to use. And NiceHash, having their own miner in two different flavors, makes it really easy to install and set up just by downloading and hitting a play button. In addition to that, we're able to trade with our market and then pass things over to an app called Makara, which I'll talk about a little bit more in the later video. All right, here we go. So here's where the magic happens. We're going to start with NiceHash. Installing the miner is really as easy as grabbing one of these two flavors, the Quick Miner or the NiceHash Miner. They really push this quick miner, but I haven't really got it to work. Uh, and it's even recommended for my graphics cards, but I don't know why it's not working. Uh, so I tend to use the regular hash, uh, nice hash miner here. Um, and there's a bunch of information on their site and a bunch of help that they'll offer. But you really have to start by creating an account. Email address, password, all the usual stuff. Signing up will get you access into their interface. Here I am at the interface, having logged in now, you can see the dashboard. I got my active rigs, inactive rigs. I could start all my rigs right from here to spin up machines that aren't working right now. You'll see here, it's actually on the machine that I'm working on, so the algorithms start to spit out on my screen, and you can see me start to mine those away. You can even see your recent activity over here on the right-hand side with your, your Bitcoin that's coming through and the various pieces that are coming through, uh, deliveries that are being made. The Bitcoin has to get up to 0 0.001 before you can withdraw it, but I can throw it into my wallet and give myself access to that, move it then around into my crypto portfolio. From the exchange, I'm also able to see the different markets of the Bitcoins and their prices. So it does offer some good information on what's out there. So you can use this to look up information even as you're logged in. And this also does leverage a hash power marketplace, which is really what my computer is contributing towards when I'm getting my payouts. And this is where I can then leverage their resources, the NiceHash network, to get cryptocurrencies. And I pay them to mine those coins if I have a lot of aspirations for that coin. So now I just wanted to show you what the actual tool looks like. Here's the NiceHash app. I can pause and play the uh, mining at any time. So if I wanted to start and stop it, I can from here. From the Devices tab up at the top, I have the ability to enable and disable not only my graphics card, but also my CPU as well. So here I'm using my Radeon and my CPU to both kick out as much profits as I can. And when the app initially opens, there's the benchmark that happens, but you can do benchmarking uh, against different plugins and against different algorithms that may work better for your computer and your setup. So be sure to check those out. From here, I do also get a lot of neat information, the amount of Bitcoin that I'm making per day, that translated into USD. And then it also will tell me the device's temperature and fan speed as well. So this is really important to make sure that my computer is happy and in good health. 
So I did want to take a moment to point out that your Windows Security and Windows Defender is probably going to freak out when you're installing nice hash. So just to give a little tip of the hat onto how to fix that under Windows Security here in Virus and Threat Protection, you're going to see current threats. If not, you can hit Start New Actions and do a fresh scan. Or something like this Rig Miner I know is related to the nice hash miner. I might see some of the other names of the algorithms. LOL Miner is another one. And I can just allow it on the device. This is important because it's actually needed to be able to continue mining and get those payouts. So make sure you do this and, and make sure if it's being blocked and you're not seeing payouts that you check in this section and see if anything's being inhibited. In the next section here, I'm about to go into Chia Coin, where I'll talk about a good way to make money in addition to what we're doing here with NiceHash. All right, this one is a little bit technical, but I'll hold your hand the whole way through. And if you had any questions, if I miss anything, please comment below and let me know. I'll be f happy to answer your questions. So Chia Coin is what we're going to use to farm on your computer. And really, the idea of it is we're filling up space on a hard drive to be able to then get random payouts, having that hard drive available to the network of Chia Coin. And, and by having those payouts in conjunction with NiceHash, we're maximizing our profits for our computer. On this Chia Coin, you'll really start on the website, and just by making an account, you can download and start running the Chia Coin application. The Chia Coin software allows you to create plots on your computer, which are what you use to farm Chia Coin. Depending on how many plots you have, you get more payouts. So obviously you want to have as many plots as you can, but you can really only afford so much, right? You have your internal hard drive, which is going to be what is actually mining the fastest so using an SSD or something that's inside your computer you're mining them and plotting them initially but then you move them to a new location because of the size of Chia Chia is now allowing you to leverage pools which I highly recommend doing because this is going to get you faster payouts and really make the whole system more realistic so I don't know why it's called this but I use this salmon shark pool and from the pool tab you want to make sure that you're creating your plots from this location so that the plots are actually connected to the pool and they're not just on your own and this is also going to allow you to see the pool contract when you created the plot on the plots tab. So make sure when you're looking at the plots tab, after connecting a plot to a pool, lots of words here, you want to go ahead and look in that pool contract field, as you see here, and make sure that it's not blank. Chia really creates the fastest plots on those internal hard drives, and then you can move them to an external hard drive. It actually is going to be something where in the application it's built in, so they're expecting you to do that as well. Here, you're plotting to an SSD, a solid state internal hard drive, and then buying a cheaper external hard drive that you can have way more space on, you can store your plots for later and make the money on those payouts. The best plot size that I found is 101.3 GIB, which you can actually queue these plots in a row or run them in parallel, meaning you're plotting two at the same time, depending on how many resources you have available for your computer to be able to do this. You would want to select the internal hard drive again there to plot the fastest as the temporary directory and the external hard drive for the final directory. You can't receive payouts until you're synced to the blockchain. So make sure you keep your computer on all the time and that first sync is really going to take a long time, even maybe one to two days um, that it could spin up and be syncing to that blockchain or longer. So be patient on that first sync. So you can't take your money out of Chia and move it into Makara, but you can take your money out of your mining wallet from NiceHash and move it into Makara, which is a free app that is going to be moving and putting your money into different crypto coins and balancing them on specific percentages based on a few easy questions that it asks you. Makara has a couple of little baskets that it uses, and these baskets represent collections of coins, whether it's an Ethereum basket, which is all Ethereum, or a Universe basket, which have a whole collection of coins. Answering a few short questions with the Makara app when you first turn it on will give some suggestions from the Makara team of what they would think the basket would be best for you. You can go through and pick a basket that you'd like, but each basket represents a collection of coins that are weighted at those different percentages. These percentages are predetermined and periodically rebalanced for your convenience, which means that the Makara team has already figured it all out for you, and they're basically going to find out that when one coin blows up, they're going to take the profits from that and redistribute so you're much safer in your investment. Because of Makara's calculated balancing, it really makes it easy and automatic. And if you can't see it or it's not on your application or your app store, go ahead and check out the link in my description here for the video for a $20 boost and a link into that actual application. Hopefully it works for you here in your country. 
And to be honest, that Macro has actually got some of my best gains, and it feels wrong because I'm not doing anything but just putting my money in it, but it's really giving me a, 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 a ridiculous percentage. I think it's something like 67% right now uh, from my initial investment, which was only a month or a few months ago. They offer a lot of news and info on the crypto market, so it's really starting to become a, a space to get that information, and they are really new to the market still as well, so I see a lot of advancements coming for them, and I'm excited for what they're going to be doing. I was able to get in on their beta, and so therefore I have that early referral code if you wanted to get in, but you can see that there's a lot of you know, progress and things coming from this application. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you get a lot of passive income from this and start making some good money with your computer, just chilling, hanging out for you. Leave me some comments, questions again. If you had anything that you'd like me to share here, or if you had anything that you wanted to see, let me know. Or if you just wanted to say hello, you can always do that. Have a great day. Thanks.